What would you do? What would you do? <laughs> I got living happy Saturday, blessed Saturday to everybody. And I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I have been so perplexed. And uh, the way on how I should present what's going on. I'll just say with the significant other in a relationship that's dealing with something that happened to this person. And um, we just gonna get right into it. Uh, basically, you guys, y'all know, we'll say at the workplaces, people should keep religion, politics, um, strong conversations. Well, we'll say conversations that people may voice their opinion and uh, politics, religion, stuff like that out of the workplace, okay? So, this person gives me a phone call and she's like, you know, sis, I'm so stressed. And I'm like, what's wrong? You know, she said, girl, I just didn't know what to do. And I go, well, talk to me. You know, Miss Tiki, she don't mind telling you her opinion. And she said, girl, I was at work and this, you know, young lady that's always been my friend, you know, this guest was getting on her nerves and we, you know, we doing our thing, I guess, you know, call mail came through from the call center or I don't know you know and uh, I guess the guess of whomever was getting on her nerves and I said oh okay so y'all just sitting there talking about it or what happened what what took place she said girl the girl turned to me and it's just you know start calling this um, person well ain't nobody gonna go I'm gonna go just start calling this person you know out of their name and uh, she said, I'm in a predominantly, a job with predominantly, you know, white people. And I'm, you know, a black female, my girlfriend. And I said, okay, sis. I said, so what happened? She said, girl, I don't know. The lady must have pissed off so bad. She came in and uh, she, she called, I don't know. She told me that basically, you know, you better get this black bitch. And she said, she said, what? She said, you know, the, the woman didn't piss you off that bad, that bad, you know, and I guess you could tell from the tone of her voice or whatever, what, you know, race the young lady was. And she was like, yeah, she turned to me and, you know, I'm the only uh, black female there at that moment. And she goes, yeah, you better get this black bitch. And uh, she said, she just was like, wow. I said, sis, she didn't do you like that. She said, yes, yeah, sis. I just didn't know what to do. Y'all, what would you do? And uh, y'all, I need y'all to come in in these comments and I need y'all to elaborate and hit Miss Tiki up and help Miss Tiki because Miss Tiki got to give out some advice to help this young lady out. I'm like, sis, I mean, you know, back in the days, me and sis grew up in the hood in the projects. Back in the days when we ain't had no families and we ain't had to worry about no bills. Back in the days, man, sis would have drug your ass and took you there, you know. But working in corporate America nowadays and everything that's going on. And she tells me that uh, basically, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you guys, my sis said she turned to her and said, something about this black you better get this black bitch or some something, something and she said she looked at her crazy and she said what and she said the girl repeated herself and she said she, you know her face was just red she just didn't know what to do now i need y'all sis called me for some advice i just was like sis i'm in disbelief she said you in disbelief i thought this was somebody that was cool we, 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 we chill together. We, you know, we've been working together for a while. We've always had a good, you know, I mean, we've always meshed. We've always gotten along really good. Read between the lines. Okay. And I just could not believe the way she took it there. And, um, she called me in and she said, I'm just perplexed. I just don't know what to do. And she said the female, you know, then... I guess she seen by the startle on her face that that shit wasn't cool. She said she then apologized to her, you know, several times and said she didn't mean no harm, you know. 
And she said she was just sitting there <laughs> in disbelief. She just didn't know what to do. So, my tiki's, I'm just sitting somewhere trying to figure out if something like this happened, what would you do? Okay, y'all, I gotta get get these get this air check right here. And um, y'all, holla, 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 holla. I'm gonna have to edit it because I done stopped and started. But I'm trying to get out and do things I gotta do on my days off. I got it. But uh, you guys, I want y'all to get down in them comments. And um, she called me and she was like, she just didn't know what to do. This is somebody she cool with and chill with and hung out with for years. They've worked together. But I just think America is losing their mind. I think basically. What has what is going on? Cause she said they had a brief conversation about that Starbucks situation, and uh, it turned into, you know, almost a black and white thing. So they left the conversation alone. And I said, I know, I get it. I said I was accused of cooning, but I'm just trying to survive. And I appreciate someone coming in and saying, you know what, Miss Tiki. You do what you got to do to survive. You don't let nobody on this Facebook, internet, and all this shit, YouTube tell you what to do. You old enough to know right from wrong, and you know, you old enough to know what to tell your children and how to get them through life to survive. But when she called me and asked me, you know, she said, what would you do? I said, well, you know the young lady well. I would take it as, you know, just, hey, have a conversation. She apologized, you accept it, you move forward. But my thing in life, when somebody show you who they are, <laughs> when somebody show you them stripes, because <laughs> they say a tiger, a cheetah, or whatever, don't change their stripes. Or uh, however your mama used to say back in the day, a leopard don't change his spots. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Whenever somebody show you who you are, you take them for who they are. In a workplace, we have to deal with things we don't want to deal with. And we have to endure a lot of things that we, you know, normally wouldn't have to. I told the young lady, is a lot of times with us just being the color of our skin, we have to prove ourselves twice as hard. And people, ah, people always want to use race. No, no. I'm telling you some shit I have been through in my lifetime, okay? I'm not just telling y'all some shit to make a video good or to make you feel sorry for me because I get nothing from none of this. But in life, it just goes to show, you know, oh, I would do this, I would do that. If you, you never know what you would do until you have to walk in somebody's shoes or you have, or you reach that point in life until you have to address something or deal with something but I just me myself personally I just feel like it's so much going on it is so much going on in America is making people feel comfortable with being disrespectful to some people I say you treat people the way you want to be treated you know and uh, she said the girl was like oh if it was a Mexican bitch I would have said Mexican if it was with this bitch I would have said that bitch no, no, bitch, and the color of somebody's skin derogatory like that is no, no, it's a no go, no, no. Step back if you're that frustrated with someone at any time. Walk away, take a deep breath, get off the phone, count to ten, do whatever you gotta do. But don't never let nobody bring you down to a level in life to where you will regret it. So now she said with that person, she looks at that person, or she will always look at that person now, totally different. Hi. So, you know, in life, just the uh, Pony Express. We gotta learn, you know, in life, sometimes you just gotta step away when things is going too bad. Or if you feel like you're gonna say something, you're gonna regret. Step back, count to 10. Don't never let nobody take you there in life. And what would I have done? I would have just accepted the person's apology. Thank you. And I would have, you know, walked away. But at the same time, I could never look at that person the same way again. In life, never. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. And then a lot of times they get mad at you because you don't want to participate with things that's going on and things that they're doing. But basically, you know, if they calling people black bitches and shit like that, she's telling me, what else are they saying? So, y'all, hit me down in them comments. Everybody have a blessed day. I'm just sitting back and I was so disturbed when my sis called me with this conversation and, you know, she was stressed out. And I'm like, you know, Miss Tiki, let me see, can Miss Tiki help you? So, y'all hit me down in the comments, what would you do? I know a lot of people, friend or no friend, I would go to Human Resource. But if you know this young lady and y'all dealt with this person for a while, she said, you know, she don't feel like she meant that, but it just revealed to her who she truly is. Some people, you, uh, well, people get to people too many passes, or you be cooning, or you be this. Everybody has their own opinion. And, you know, okay. But y'all hit me down in the comments and let me know what would you do. This is a what would you do video, guys. Bless Saturday. I'm going to upload this. I'm out getting the car wash, doing the little things I need to do so I can get headed, get, I mean, get started for my work week. And uh, everybody, y'all have a blessed day. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and follow me over there on IG, Tiki44. And you guys, y'all have a lucky day. Have a blessed day. And never in life let nobody take you somewhere that you, you just never be able to bring yourself back from. Bye guys.